Yes, lads, welcome back to another Custom Tactics video on the channel. Today we are taking a look at my full Custom Tactics rotation. It will save your life. Let's get into it. Does your team look like this? Do you struggle to open the best store pack and play with the best players in FC24? If you said yes, then you need to head over to MMOEXP and grab yourself some cheap and reliable FC24 coins and use code ALP at checkout for an extra 5% off. Jeez! So diving in with the first formation in this rotation, and it's the 4-3-2-1, my favorite formation so far this year. Gives you a bit of everything, and sometimes you do need to switch out of it. That's why I've got others set up, but for the most part, I do stick with this formation. Um, I wouldn't say it's fully optimized, though. I would like to have um, a left foot so on this in this right center forward spot. I still like to have right, uh, right foot on the right-hand side, left foot on the left-hand side, just because you've got that cut across goal which is nice. Um, if you've got someone with a finesse shot trace, if you had Griezmann in this, it's left on the right-hand side, You it will still work because you've got those finesse shots, which are super, super strong. So if you put someone here, I was going to say Sun, but he's got the five-star weak foot. Someone like Sun is amazing in this position. Um, getting into the... We'll start with the, um, the tactics. 45 on the width, depth, 64, balanced and direct passing. 40 on the width, seven players getting into the box. Corners three, free kicks two. These are the ones that we, you would have seen on the channel that Tex uses. They're unreal, lads. Again, with all these formations, if you are someone that likes 71 depth, just whack this up to 71. It's nice. If I am struggling or if someone's pinning me in, I will up it to 70 just to help me get out of my own box. But for the most part, we leave it on 64. So the way this defends going to defend in a 4-4-2 and the instructions you will see if you've not seen a 4-3-2-1 tactics yet then you will understand in a second um so my striker and right center forward are stay central both on stay central but the striker is get in behind you can have this guy on stay forward i don't bother because work rates will just keep him up the pitch cole is then stay central get in behind come back on defense um so when we don't have the ball, he'll be defending in front of Robertson. Because he's coming back on defense, Witzel is uh, stay back while attacking and cover center. Frankie De Jong will always be stay back while attacking and covering center. So these two guys will cover the center backs. Then Bon Matty is just on cover wing. She'll get forward if you've not used her as well. 50k, she's fodder. Insane. Get your hands on five-star weak foot as well. There aren't many better cards for... Well, there are no better cards for that price range. Um, so if you wanted your right center forward to go back, you would flip this. So obviously then, uh, Bon Matt, you'd be on uh, cover center, stay back while attack, and then it'd be your right, uh, your left center mid that would be on cover wings. So you just kind of flip this. Um, because Bon Matt is our attacking midfielder, our attacking fullback is the left back. So he's on balance and overlap which then he will create the width. It's important you have the attacking fullback in this formation because looking at it, you can tell you've got these three guys that are staying central. It is going to be quite narrow if you don't have the attacking fullback. He will be there providing the overlap nine times out of ten. And if I'm losing, I go up and left on the D-pad, which will send Zhao Cancelo forward, which is insane. If center backs don't touch them, I will find you. I'll repeat that four times in this video just so it hammers it home, but you just don't touch them. Then goalkeepers come for cross, sweeper keeper. It will save you now and again. Diving into the second formation in this rotation, it's the 4-2-3-1, super solid. I use this mainly to clutch out games because it provides good passing options, good triangles on the pitch. Again, I wouldn't say it's fully optimized because I would like a left footer on the left-hand side. Um, I could always move Bon Matty out there because she's got a five-star weak foot, but I prefer in the middle, she's a bit more techy and she supports with that. But otherwise, it is a fairly well-built um, team. The new Aubameyang card, if you've got if you've not done him get him done he's insane i think we got six 17 wins this weekend with him so definitely check that out um but diving in with the, the tactics 45 on the width this formation i do use 71 just because it's got the two cdms it feels quite negative if you put it below so i like to keep them just pumping up the pitch i i i probably say this is the only tactic in this rotation that's on the 71 by default but it is good to have a formation in your rotation that is on this meta 71 depth. Obviously, you can pump up any formation above 71, but I just got it preset because it allows us to, you know, just dive straight into it and not be stuck in our six-yard box. Balance and direct passing, 50 on the width, 
I have tried 45. It is nice. Um, but anyway, between 45 and 50 is good with this formation. Players in the box, seven. Corners, three. Free kicks, two. So diving in with the play instructions. If you haven't already, though, drop a like on today's video if you found it useful and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Um, so the tactics on this formation are super, super basic. And I think that's... I, people try to overcomplicate the tactics sometimes and it just makes it a bit feels a bit disjointing but the way this formation works it's just so basic so easy to use and it's exactly what you need um stay back um stay back on attacking get in behind and stay forward on the striker you want him there at all times you can't be without your striker Abamyang, insane for this he's very nice get him done Bon matty is just on getting to the boss across she's gonna be getting in almost like a really attacking cam make sure you got someone in this cam position that can shoot I did have Petri in this position before, and it was costing me a lot of chances. Put Balmati in. Insane. Both the cams are get into the box for crosses and come back on defense. So they'll help defend in the 4-4-2. So they're going to come back, and they're going to cover the fullbacks, and then you've got your two CDMs, which will cover the center backs. Again, always defending in that trusty 4-4-2. Um, again, I'd recommend having a left foot on the left-hand side and a right foot on the right-hand side, unless you've got someone with a finesse shot trait. So you could put Griezmann at this right cam. You could put... Sun at this left hand, I know Sun is a bit of a weak example because you're five star weak, but Graham Hansen's um, trailblazer if you're loaded. Um, both sent, um, CDMs are cut passing lanes because we're in a two CDM set. Cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking, and cover center. Honestly, I don't put cut passing lanes when it's one CDM just because it feels like the player gets lost, but when you've got two, they work together really nice and it cuts so much out. Center backs, touch them. I will find you. Second time of the video. Remember, you've got two more to go. Um, and then the fullback, stay back while attacking on the left back uh, and overlap and then balance and overlap on the right back. It doesn't matter in this formation which fullback you have going forward. Just make it your best attacking fullback. Goalkeeper comes for crosses and sweeper keeper. Now we're starting to get into my wildcard formations. Now the two formations that I switch into just uh, if nothing else is working and we want to give it a go. This is my five back, three back counter slash park the bus counter. It's the three four two one, Super effective. And the way I've set my team up because I've got Axel Witzel in midfield. So I recommend if you have a big CDM, you can set up a three or five back really easy because they can play center back. A Witzel can play center back. So he's, when you have that big bulky CDM, we did a lot with Vieira last year. You got that opportunity to drop him into center back and he'll play really naturally there, which is good because your, your squad building, you get likely to be unpredictable. So we're going for a, from a 4-3-2-1 to a 3-4-2-1, uh, three, which is very nice. Um, again, with this formation, I wouldn't say it's fully optimized. Um, I would like a left foot on the left-hand side. I, I don't know, it just feels a bit more natural to be shooting across the goal. Um, but otherwise, perfectly um, formatted. We've got the two box-to-box -box, uh, central midfielders. Can create, can stick a tackle in. Full-backs at the left mid and right mid position is definitely what I recommend. Cancelo, insane in this position. Robertson is okay. You can use a Theo Hernandez and you'll do a good job. So diving in with not the play instructions, the tactics. 35 on the width because we've got three slash five at the back. We do 35, keeps it tight. Full back, the left mid and right mid will fill in those wide areas. So do not worry about people breaking you down the left and right hand side. Depth, we play 60. Again, if you're a 71 user, whack it up to 71, you'll be fine. I like 60. I, I just like 60 when we're playing three backs. Um, build a play, balance and direct pass in width. We play 40, keep it tight, one of those one of those three, there's two center forwards and the striker being nice and close together. Whereas then you've got the fullbacks with the instructions. They will cover those wide areas. Plays in the box seven, corners three, free kicks two, fairly standard. Player instructions, striker, stay central, get in behind. Again, fairly standard. Both the center forwards are on state central. That is all. So we want them nice and tight together. Very similar setup to the four, three, two, one in terms of the attack. The left mid and right mid, arguably the most important players in the team for this. So this is just how it works. It creates you the width. It, it gives you that solidity in defense and it creates you lots of options in attack. Um, both of them come back on defense, stay on the edge of the box. So we don't want them over committing basically and stay wide because we need them to be creating the width. Without it, we have no width and you want them to be defending as fullbacks. Two center mid, stay back while attacking and oh, um, stay back while attacking and overlap. Stay back while attacking and cover center. 
again fairly standard for these guys because they're high high work rate and frankly young is high medium they will push on now and again but i definitely recommend you have box to box midfielders in this position because it is gonna be they are gonna rely heavily on their ability to create and you know be good under pressure so Bob Matty, insane for great budget option for this. And Frankie De Jong is insane with all this press proven. Center backs, there's three of them, but if you touch them, I will find you. <laughs> the goalkeeper's cover across his own sweeper keeper. It will save you now and again. And the final set of tactics in this rotation, lads, is for the 4 3 3 false 9. The video was recently on the channel, so if you want to see some gameplay, it is there. I'll probably link it at the end of the video. Um, but again, Perfectly optimized other than I well, actually I'm gonna swap Frankie and Witzel because why would I not? Um other than Cole, which I'd like him to be left footed. And other than that though, insane. Um I I I think it's my four favorite four three three variation so far this year. Either that or the four three three four. It's very close. It's very close. But let's dive into the tactics. 40 on the width depth is 65. Um Balanced and direct passing, insane. Width, 40. Players in the box on seven. Corners, three. Free kicks, two. Instructions, the striker is just on stay central. The left wing and the right wing. So what's going to happen here is that we are going to depend on a 4-4-2 again. So depending on who comes back and who comes forward, it will affect or who stays forward. It will affect how you set up your midfield. So my right wing is on comeback on defense. Um which means, well, he's on comeback on defense, cut inside and get into the box for crosses. Um, because he's on comeback, um, the right center mid is stay back while attacking, cover center. So the CDM will always be on stay back while attacking, cover center and deep line playmaker. I do like deep line playmaker because they drop off and show feet, which is important in this year's game because sometimes it is very difficult to find feet. And then you've got Anita Bonmati, who is then on cover wing, which then makes you defend in a 4 4 2. And who defends in front of Cancelo, uh, Frankie De Jong and Witzel in front of your centre backs, and Bonmati in front of the left backs again. If you notice, all my tactics kind of revolve around trying to make this 4 4 2 work. And then we've got our stay forward winger, who is stay forward cut inside get into the box for crosses because this guy's like a center forward i've got these guys cut inside so they almost like it almost comes into the middle and almost use like a wide version of the four one two one two if you think about because they kind of come in front of the center forward a lot of the time um you can't play this on false nine if you've got someone that is you know particularly techy but i don't really recommend it for the way that i've set it up um the left back is stay back while attacking and overlap and the right back is on balance and overlap. It is important that your attacking fullback is on the opposite side to your attacking midfielder. So because Bon Matty's going forward, it's Cancelo that goes forward. Um, if Frankie De Jong was my attacking midfielder, then it would have to be Robertson to go forward. Otherwise, it would create a weird imbalance in the team. If I had Cancelo and Frankie going forward, you would leave a pocket of space for people to counter and attack into, which is not good. No one wants that. Um so something to bear in mind and finally center backs touch them i will find you if you've not heard that phrase before then welcome to this well thank you for skipping through the video i think um and then goalkeepers comes for crosses sweeper keeper it will save you now and again and that is lads my full custom tactics rotation at the moment we've got a couple more uh three back variations coming this week so stay tuned for that um and i'll catch you in another one Cheers.